I was talking to a guy the other day about R22 refrigerant. Yes, R22. It's a refrigerant we haven't talked about in a long time for a number of reasons. It was phased out in our country a, a number of years ago, but I thought it might be interesting to do a video on R22 refrigerant, mainly because there are still people out there that have systems with R22 in it. In fact, a lot of you will comment on my videos from time to time talking about, hey, I've got a system this old. I've got a system that has served me well. It's gone for a number of years and it still has R22 refrigerant and it still heats and cools my home very well. This particular guy I was talking to the other day, the subject of the new refrigerants coming up during the recording of this video and the conversation I had with this guy, we are looking at phase down for 10A refrigerant. We've done other videos on that matter. We've talked about the AIM Act and how that's being enacted in our country. Because of 410A going away, we now have systems that are being introduced to our country and North America in general with these new refrigerants in them. New A2L refrigerants, R32 and R454B. I've done videos on those two and how they compared each other and all of that. But anyway, I was talking to this guy and he said, oh yeah, the new refrigerant, 410A. And I, I, I said, no, no, R32 and 454B. And he said, huh? I thought the new refrigerant was 410. <laughs> you know, he's still stuck a decade to go. He's still in the phase out of R22 thinking 410 is the new refrigerant. That raises a whole nother topic, right? We can talk about these new refrigerants coming into our country and how, who knows what the future holds as far as how long are they going to be a part of the conversation, right? And so if you are a homeowner and you've got an R22 system and you've been kind of living in a bubble and you didn't know of all this stuff going on, 410A is being phased down right now during this video, they're saying it's not a complete phase out like R12 and R22 were, but the writing's on the wall. It's going to get phased down and then probably eventually be phased out, probably eventually go away. And so with these new refrigerants coming in, I think the topic of conversation here is if you do have an R22 system, you're going to skip a whole generation of refrigerants here or refrigerant. You're going to skip 410. You're going to be able to go from when it does come time for you to want to replace that system for one reason or another. Maybe you can't get parts for it anymore. It's just finally that old. Or the real topic of conversation here is if you have an R22 system and you need to add refrigerant to it, can your contractor get it? In some cases, no. But I'd say in most cases, if they look hard enough, they can still maybe get their hands on a jug of R22 or at bare minimum, a replacement refrigerant for R22. But the conversation becomes the cost of that, right? If you're going to say replace a TXV or a coil or a compressor or whatever that part is, that's a part of the refrigeration circuit. And you're going to have to put refrigerant in that system. If the cost is so high, there becomes a point where you say, mm, do I want to put that much money in a system that is that old. During the recording of this video, being 2024, we still have systems out there that are not just R22, but they're R22 and still under warranty. Isn't that crazy? You could still buy an R22 system as late as 2016 and get a 10-year parts warranty on a lot of that equipment. Even if it's under warranty, at the end of the day, if you've got to pay for 10 pounds of R22 to be put back in that system, you may or may not decide to do that. And I'll say this, I'll give you a piece of advice, but before I do, if you are getting any value out of this video or any of my content, if you wouldn't mind doing me a favor, and that is hitting that subscribe and like button, but in return for that, I will also do my best to reply to every comment left on this video. And so leave me a comment down below. What are your thoughts on all this? My last piece of advice on this would be if you have an R22 system, we're in the wee hours here. We're in the, the last days of 410A equipment being sold in our continent, in our country, right? In North America and in the US. And so as this new equipment comes out, I don't know that I would want to be first in line. I don't know that I would want to necessarily be the guinea pig. Get some more life out of that system if you can. I do think we're now to a point where I would wonder if I would spend the money 
on a 410A system, knowing that it's being phased down and possibly phased out at some point. There's so many variables. I get that question sometimes. Some of you will comment on my videos or I'll be helping somebody on our website, newhvacguide.com, and they'll ask me questions like, should I wait for these new refrigerant systems? Should I not wait on them because of possible price increases or whatever, and just go ahead and bite the bullet and get a 410? There's variables. There's there's so many different ways of looking at that. But I will say if you're an R22 person, if you're still in that boat, you're still using a system from that era. It's, a, it's like an era now. It's its own thing of the past. If you're still in that boat, get as much life out of that system and you're going to skip this whole generation of 410 and go right into these you know newer systems that are more efficient, better for the environment. I get comments all the time. Folks want to fight about that and say, oh, you're you're just being political. I'm just reporting what they're telling us. They're switching to these new refrigerants because they're supposedly better for the environment. They have a lower GWP. Everybody's got their own opinion and they'll comment and villainize me just for reporting the facts here. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Comment down below. Do you have an R22 system? Are you going to try to hang on a little bit longer or are you scared of these new refrigerants and you're going to go ahead and jump in with 410 before it's too late? Love to hear about that. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I talk about five facts about R32 that I think you need to know. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.